This is how you can make an Emojify command for your Discord.js version 14 bot, so let's go ahead and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I'd like to say that if you're interested in getting the source code from this video or other videos on my channel, you can purchase a god tier on Discord or a super or god tier on YouTube. You can also get any of these three bot packages. They are fully coded bots based off of a specific topic. All of this will be in the description below if you're interested, and let's go ahead and actually get into the code. Alright, so in here we're going to go over to community, and we can go ahead and create emoji .js. In here, we're going to get our slash command builder, and we can do equals require, and we're going to go ahead and get our discord.js package. Next, we can go ahead and do module.exports, and we can actually go ahead and open this up. We're going to get our data, which is going to be our new slash command builder, and we're going to go ahead and set a name. This is going to be emojify, and we can go ahead and set description, and we can go ahead and say change text to emoji and then we can go ahead and add a string option we're going to go ahead and do option arrow function option to set name this is going to be our text and we can go ahead and set a description and we can go ahead and say the text to convert and i'm also going to go ahead and set required we're going to go to make that true then we can go ahead and add one more string option and we're going to do option arrow function option to set name and this is going to be hidden and we're going to go ahead and set a description we can go ahead and say hide this message and we're going to add a question mark here and then we're going to go ahead and do our choices so we can do add choices this is going to be our name which is going to be hidden and our value is going to be set to true and then we can go ahead and add another here we can go ahead and do our name which is going to be not hidden and we can go ahead and set a value which is going to be false and then we can go ahead and set required to false as well. We can add a comma here. We're going to do async execute. So we can go ahead and get our interaction. And we're going to go ahead and open this up here. First, we're going to go ahead and get our variables. So we can go ahead and do const. And we can go ahead and get our options. And we can set that equal to our interaction. Then we can do const text equals options that get to string. This is going to be our text string. We're also going to do var hidden equals options that get string and that's going to be our hidden string and then we can do or and we can say false then we're going to do if hidden is equal to true and with a string just like that then we can set hidden to a boolean value which is going to be true we can do else if and we're going to do hidden is equal to false in a string then we can set that to hidden as a boolean false just like that because we're going to be using the variable within our reply after this so now we're going to go ahead and do our emoji logic to convert the text string into emojis so to do that we're going to go ahead and do var emoji text equals text and then down here we're going to do a number of things the first is going to be to lowercase and so that's going to go ahead and set them all to lowercase then we can do split and we're going to do an empty string then we can do dot map and we can go ahead and get our letter and we can do an arrow function and we're going to go ahead and open this up because we need to run some logic in here so in here we're going to do if letter is equal to an empty string with a space then we're going to return a space just like that then we can say else and we can go ahead and return and we're going to go ahead and do an emoji colon like that and we can do regional you can do indicate later and we can do underscore and we're going to go ahead and get our letter and we can finish that emoji off so basically what we're doing is if the letter is a space we're going to return a space and if the letter is not a space we're going to go ahead and set it to that letter emoji and then we're going to go ahead and put them all together within a string and to do that we're going to come down here and we can do dot join just like that and we can do an empty string so after we do that we're going to do if and we can do emoji text dot length is greater than or equal to 2000 in, then we can do emoji text equals and we can say I can't emojify this text and we can do it is too long just like that next we can go in and actually send this so we can do await interaction to reply we can do content which is going to be our emoji text and we can do informal which is going to be hidden so that's going to be our variable that can be set within the options here one thing that you should keep in mind is we can actually go ahead and come up here and we're going to go ahead and set our max length to 2000 and we can actually go ahead and set our min length as well and that's going to be one so the reason we're doing this is because doing this is basically going to be doing this down here within our logical statement so it's basically going to be doing the same thing um, but I heard that if you don't have this the slash command might crash because it's some sort of bug or the slash command cannot handle long messages so that's just something you might want to add just in case um, but after you do all that, we are good to go. So we can go ahead and save the file, restart the bot, and test this out. All right, so we're going to go ahead and actually test this out. So we can go ahead and start off 
by doing emojify and we can go ahead and do text we can just say hello and we're going to leave hidden as blank we'll test that in a second and as you can see it says hello as emojis which is really cool uh, so we can actually go ahead and do this again we'll do the exact same thing we can do hello this time we're going to set it to hidden and now as you can see it is infernal so that does work as well so now let's go ahead and try to use a space because it has some extra space logic. So we can do hello, my name is, and we can do my name, and we can set hidden to false. And as you can see, it's gonna say hello, my name is Jackson, just like it is here. Keep in mind, spaces work a little bit different. Uh, there is a space in between, but it doesn't look like a space. Obviously these ones are together and there is a slight space, but if we were to actually copy this command, and do the exact same thing down here. Um, and we were to add like a couple more spaces here, a couple more spaces, and we were to even this out a little bit more, and we were to send it. As you can see, this time it looks a little bit more natural. So that's just something to keep in mind. Now let's just go ahead and do Emojify, and we can go ahead and copy this text over and over again. So we're basically gonna flood this. Let's go ahead and send it here. And as you can see, it's gonna say, I can't Emojify text uh, this long. Now, there is something to keep in mind. It let me send the slash command, but it caught it right here. And the reason it did that was because this is less than 2000 characters, but when you add the regional indicator A, so this is all of this, while it looks like one character, it's actually quite a lot of characters. So technically, uh, this is less than 2000 characters in length, but when you do the emoji logic and you put this string together, this is actually gonna be quite a lot more than it is right here. So that's just something to keep in mind. And we can actually go ahead and try this again. Um, this time we're just gonna keep copying it and we can continue on. This time we're basically just gonna try to make sure the slash command fails and it does. So that's something to keep in mind as well. All right, so there is a slight problem and here's what I did to actually fix it. So the problem is if you use a special character or a character that is not within the regional indicator family, it's gonna return something like this. So to fix it, I've gone ahead and created this logic. We're gonna be using a regex to see if a string is a letter. And if it is, we're gonna go ahead and just return that letter within the emoji. If it's not, we're gonna go ahead and return the letter without an emoji. So let's actually go in and test this logic out here. All right, so we can go ahead and do emojify and we can go ahead and say subscribe. We're gonna do the exact same thing we did before. And if we send it, this time it's gonna say subscribe with an exclamation mark right here. It is important to note that it might not be as big as if we did emojify and we just did subscribe, but that's because we're adding that special character in there, which makes it a little bit smaller. Now we can go ahead and try one more thing. We're gonna do Emojify, we can say subscribe, and we can just put random special characters in there. And as you can see, this works as well. All right, so that's how you can make an advanced Emojify command using your discord.js version 14 bot. If you do need any help with this, go ahead and join the server in the description below. We'll be happy to help you out. And you might as well just join anyways because this is a pretty good coding community. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video.